Imagine trying to move a stone heavier than a modern jetliner, without cranes, engines, or even the benefit of modern machinery. In the heart of Lebanon's Beka Valley lies a mystery that does just that. The Baalbek Temple Complex, one of antiquity's most awe-inspiring sites, continues to defy logic and astonish visitors with its colossal stones and architectural brilliance. Among its ruins are some of the largest building blocks ever carved and moved by human hands. Massive monoliths weighing up to an astonishing 1,650 tons. That's heavier than a fully loaded Boeing 747 or even an entire herd of elephants. The question of how ancient builders achieved such a feat has captivated the world for centuries. Baalbek's roots run deep, going back to a time when it was known as Baalath, a Phoenician settlement named after the storm and sun god Baal. Nestled in the fertile expanse of the Bikaya Valley, the city's spiritual significance was inseparable from the agricultural rhythms of life in the region. Worship at Baalbek wasn't abstract. It was tied to rain, crops, and survival. Over time, this spiritual center began to evolve, especially after the arrival of Alexander the Great in 334 BC. With him came the fusion of Greek and local cultures, and the modest city was renamed Heliopolis, City of the Sun. Greek architecture, deities, and artistic motifs began weaving their way into the fabric of Baalbek's religious life, planting the seeds for a much grander vision yet to come. It was under Roman rule that Baalbek truly blossomed. Roman engineers and architects saw the city not only as a sacred site, but as a statement of imperial power and ingenuity. By the first century BC, Baalbek had transformed into one of the empire's most extravagant ceremonial centers. The scale of construction was monumental. At its heart was the Temple of Jupiter, an enormous structure once supported by 54 towering granite columns, each rising about 70 feet and weighing nearly 400 tons. Today, just six remain, yet they dominate the skyline like sentinels frozen in time. Nearby, the Temple of Bacchus, exceptionally well-preserved, displays detailed carvings that burst with life, depicting festivals, mythical creatures, and gods. Then there's the Temple of Venus, built in a curving, circular form that broke away from Roman conventions, blending local religious expressions with classical Roman aesthetics. Baalbek's grandeur wasn't limited to its religious structures. The city was a vibrant cultural and social hub. Festivals were held in its courtyards and plazas, drawing pilgrims and dignitaries from across the empire. These events fused Roman spectacle with local traditions, public celebrations of faith, politics and identity. The temples weren't just places of worship, they were statements of dominance, expressions of wealth, and monuments to Roman engineering prowess. And all of this was achieved far from Rome itself, making Baalbek a shining example of how far the empire's influence and its logistical capabilities could reach. But what truly sets Baalbek apart is the engineering challenge posed by its megalithic stones. Among the most famous are the Trilithon, three gargantuan blocks in the podium of the Temple of Jupiter each stone is around 64 feet long, 13 feet tall, 14 feet wide, and weighs roughly 800 tons. These stones are not simply stacked. They are placed with such precision that even today, with all our advanced technology, replicating the feet would be no small task. No mortar binds them, yet their fit is seamless. This is engineering that borders on the mystical, just under a kilometre away from the main temple complex lies a quarry that holds even more ancient secrets. There lies the Stone of the Pregnant Woman, a colossal 69-foot-long stone weighing approximately 1,000 tons. It was cut but never transported, 
and its name comes from a local legend suggesting that women who touch the stone are granted safe and easy childbirth. This folklore adds a human layer to the story, showing how the site has remained embedded not only in history books, but also in local memory and tradition. Then, in 2014, archaeologists uncovered an even more staggering stone in the same quarry, estimated to weigh a jaw-dropping 1,650 tons. This newly revealed monolith is believed to be the largest stone ever carved by human hands. Its discovery pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible for ancient engineering. How did people, without modern tools, even conceive of such ambition, let alone act on it? Theories abound, but definitive answers remain elusive. To grasp the true magnitude of Baalbek's engineering, it helps to compare these feats to other ancient wonders. The heaviest stones at Stonehenge weigh around 30 tons, a marvel in their own right, transported over long distances with great effort. But compared to Baalbek, they're featherweights. The Great Pyramid of Giza, often considered the epitome of ancient construction, used limestone blocks, averaging 2 to 15 tons, with its largest granite slabs topping out at about 80 tons. Baalbek's stones, many of which are 10 to 20 times heavier, rewrite the benchmarks of ancient engineering. How did the builders manage it? A leading theory points to wooden rollers and sledges made from tree trunks to distribute the weight and reduce drag. Historians also believe olive oil may have been used as a lubricant, an ancient method even noted in historic texts. To lift the stones, Builders likely used wooden cranes with pulleys and tread wheels, or long earthen ramps and lever systems that demanded precise teamwork and engineering skill. Interestingly, these techniques mirror those believed to have been used in constructing the Egyptian pyramids. Though Baalbek's temples and Egypt's pyramids had different functions, both emerged from a common mastery of logistics and construction. Baalbek is more than ruins. It's a monument to enduring questions. How far did ancient innovation really go? What meanings did these stones carry for their creators? What secrets remain buried, waiting to be unearthed? Each carved block whispers of human ambition, creativity, and the universal drive to reach beyond the ordinary. Baalbek's story isn't just set in stone it lives in the imagination of all who witness it. If you thought the ruins we just explored were beyond belief, hold on. Because what scientists found next takes the mystery to a whole new level. Hidden deep beneath the earth lies a pre-flood megastructure so massive, so advanced, there's not a single historical record that even hints at its existence. <laughs>